going everybody this video is going to be about matchmaking and the walking dead survivors um i'm just going to go ahead and call it it's inevitable and when i say matchmaking i mean as far as the regional communities uh season two is their effort is their first effort you know the walking dead survivors that's their first effort at you know leveling the playing field they see that the servers die after a few months um when you just leave things the way they are and so this season two is not the same as restricted zone is not the same as lines we cross it's a it is a map that you have to move in now you can move back so um the clans that do move and participate in that, they will be able to move back and uh, deal with the you know communities and stuff that they already have. However, there won't be any separate stamina. You don't get separate resources. You don't have special rules for your troops. So whatever they expend in Season 3 in that map, it looks like that's just going to be that. Like, you're going to use your exact same set, uh, town hall. You know, you're going to use your exact same town that you would use in your season one map in the season three map. And it's just the same thing. So I, I read in one of the community discussions that if you use a random relocator, you can go back to your, uh, your uh, map and go back and forth which they have said you can go back and forth but this new addition is definitely going to shake things up uh you know what i mean it's going to cause people to have to either spread themselves thinner and then in a new server you're going to be matched with people with similar power so it's going to be more difficult the rewards are a lot heavier though like to get a level 10 community that's 10,000 prosperity and you get attack buff. So it's like if you hold out and decide not to participate in that, uh, or you, you know, you just don't participate in it enough. You understand you're missing out on massive advancement for your clan. You know what I mean? Versus, uh, just lingering on the on the first map you know what i mean because you just love the power trip or whatever um realize that you're killing the server like eventually if you keep on you know what i mean doing what you do and this and the developers are catching wind of this like if they just leave the maps the way they are then yeah the server is going to die because there's nothing for the people on the server to look forward to so there's going to be uh matchmaking it's inevitable and i think season two in a way it is matchmaking but i think with season three it's going to be even better now if season two doesn't shake things up and they leave what you attain on season two when you go into season three okay season three is definitely going to shake things up and uh you know you're just going to be spread thinner it's not like your clan is getting bigger and all of that it you your clan can you know you can only have so many people in your clan and it looks like uh no you can't join clans uh from other servers it is just going to be your clan so if you have a hundred members you know each season those members are going to be spread across communities and eventually you just going to monkey branch your clan back i mean away from you know what i mean your original what you have in the server you know what i mean that then that might happen but i'm telling you if it doesn't if that doesn't happen they will find some way to do matchmaking and people are asking are they going to merge servers yes they are because servers cost money to maintain and if they're not making money off the server because it's dead 
they're they are going to get rid of that server so it don't make no sense to ask them you know what i mean and they may not know it they may not know they're not they're going to but i know that they there will be server merges i know there will be matchmaking from all of the professional you know the pro uh competitive games i've ever played like league of legend just pretty much every game uh has matchmaking call of duty has matchmaking you're going to be matched up against people of your skill level okay so the game if they continue to build on the game that's the direction that is headed so they're saying they oh we don't know if we're going to merge they're going to merge i'm telling you they're going to merge servers so you keep asking them and i guess that's good that you keep asking them but i'm telling you i know for a fact they're going to merge the servers number one and number two they're going to realize hmm i can actually make more money if i match people up with people on their level you understand because it's more of a challenge then their people they're going to catch wind that they can actually make more money with matchmaking and that's what they're going to do i'm telling you i'm calling it i'm calling it there will be matchmaking as far as lines um all-out war type gameplay like what you're looking at right now this map there will be matchmaking uh as season two is the beginning and really that's it and it's it's pretty smart uh and there will be server merges so you don't even have to ask that i'm telling you it's gonna happen every every mmo i've ever played is when when servers become inactive and they're not profitable anymore they kill the server <laughs> and merge the server and you know what i mean so there's gonna be server merges don't worry uh but yeah uh and possibly there will be a way for you to move characters from server to server i don't know but uh, the game is still evolving as long as they're still trying. You know what I mean? As long as they're still putting the effort in, they're going to move. They're going to figure it out. They're going to figure out a way where they can make money and people can maximize their enjoyment <laughs> of the game. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now all right you guys thanks for watching